Hi everyone, wanted to take a little bit of time here to talk about the balancing that we do on mirrors. So occasionally customers will contact us and they say, hey, what's this brown stuff on the back of the mirror? Uh, and if you take a look here, we have a XY system running. It's actually running right now. You see this quote unquote brown stuff, that's tape. It's a special, special kind of tape that we had made custom. Uh, it's a special thickness that we had made. And what we do is we balance the mirror using this tape. And so what's interesting about this uh, situation is this, you have make pretend the scanner, this is the scanner and this is the mirror. What, what's interesting about this is that when the mirror rotates, there is a gyroscopic procession that happens. And if the mirror is off balance from this side to this side, when it rotates, there's a force that tends to bend the mirror in this direction. And so what's fascinating is you can add as much weight as you want on the back of the mirror or even the front, the, the actual mirror could be off. And when it rotates, that doesn't throw off the mirror balance. It's quite, it's quite uh, counterintuitive. You would think that the mirror being off in this direction would, would throw the balance off to the, where the point would, would, it would wave like this. And that, that doesn't happen because of gyroscopic procession. But if the, if, the, if the mirror is off in this dimension or if the weight is off where it's not balanced in this dimension, as it rotates, it causes a kind of waving. It's called cross-axis wobble is what it does. And so we put this tape on the back of the mirror in a special way. We have a special system that tells us exactly how much tape to put on it and where the tape is. And sometimes you'll find little pieces of tape that are angled in certain ways. And sometimes you find a great big piece like we had to put on this mirror. And it just depends on the balance. And, and every mirror is going to be different. And this particular customer gets lots of scanners are all exactly the size and the shape. And sometimes if you line all the scanners up and you've got every, everyone is gonna have a different piece of tape in a different shape and a different size and a different location and a different angle. Just like the tires on your car, you get four tires are all the same brand. They were all made at the same time. And you walk around and you see where the weights are. They're all in different places because you know, it's just a little bit of a different weight distribution. Now how this actually manifests itself in the mirror is we mount the mirrors perfectly, but the mirror could be what we call wedge shaped, where the mirror is thinner on one side and thicker on the other, and that's just gonna make it heavier on this side, right? So there's little tolerances that happen here and there that, caught, that contribute to the mirror weight not being correct in, in this dimension, and we uh, have been figured out a way to um, analyze them and figure out, to, the, the, and this tape method works really well. This Kapton tape is a special um, silicone-based adhesive that doesn't outgas and it's the same stuff that's used on circuit board when you when you're running circuit boards through wave solder machines so so this thing can go through flowing solder and not melt and not fall off or anything else so when we put that tape on there don't worry it is on there permanently unless somebody takes it off sometimes the customers see it and they say hey the, surely they made a mistake leaving it on there it must have been a delivery thing and they'll take the tape off if you remove the tape you will degrade the performance so anyway, I wanted to show you what it does. So here it is, we've just got done balancing a mirror and what it does, you see this projection behind me, it looks really good. And what I'm gonna do is speed it up and slow it down a little bit and show you what happens, because in a second I'm gonna take the tape off and show you what happens here. Uh, maybe we could zoom in on that uh, R a little bit. And, uh, and you can see I, as I speed it up and slow it down, nothing happens, the R, and in particular, you'll see the R and the W really starts to get distorted when we take this tape off. Now, I hope that, I hope that this actually works, this, uh, what we call this the demo effect, right? I'm gonna say, watch this, and then hopefully it's gonna work like the Timex watch thing where the elephant stepped on the Timex watch and it destroyed it, and that wasn't supposed to happen. But, uh, so what I'm gonna do is actually take the tape off to illustrate, <laughs> illustrate how hard it is to get off, for one thing. Um, Tape's off of there now. And illustrate what happens when the tape is off. And I'll move the, I'll change the frequency now. And that you can see now is that that red R, the R, and even very small changes in the scanning speed really affect that. And at one particular scanning speed right there, it doesn't even look like an R anymore. And you can see that the W, 
gets really wonked out. The bee has all kinds of little things, right? And so this is why we balance the mirror. I can't show you in reverse. You know, normally what we would do is start off with something that's really messed up like this and then balance it and then wind up with a good result. Here we did the opposite. We started with a good result, balance mirror, and then we take the balance off when you show we show you what happens when it's when it's off. So so anyway, that's the situation. That's what's this black stuff is I've been wanting to make this video for a while. What's this black stuff? People every once in a while customers contact what's this black what, what's this brown stuff on the mirror? That's what the brown stuff is. Is there to balance the mirrors. If you don't like it, you could take it off, but I would recommend if you're gonna do that, just go to your tire and take off all the weights on that too, and then drive your car and see what happens. If you drive it at slow speed, no problem, won't notice anything. But if you drive it different speeds, you'll feel the vibration at different speeds. It would be vibrating different ways, just like I'm showing you here, at different scanning speeds, the vibration happens, you know, at different things and it will cause what's it's called critical speeds is what's happening here. So uh, yeah, so that's the situation. That's what's this brown stuff. We would recommend you leave it, treat it like the snake you find in your garden. You leave the snake alone and it will leave you alone. The snake, it's, the snake is there for a reason. It's doing good stuff. So, uh, so that's it. Thanks for watching.